the best flute, the best, best clarinet. We've got some great flutes, but nothing like this person. And just like flute players, this person is always wanting to keep trying to get it right and perform exactly like it is on the page. And most of the time, this person does. does. We have had several chair tests throughout the year to show progress and confidence, and this person always rises to the top. The best flute for this school year is Matthew Embrick. The clarinets. The clarinets can be great, good, average, and OMG. <laughs> there has been an extreme amount of improvement across the clarinet section. However, but in the top chairs of the section, this person has been the most consistent. The best clarinet for the school year is Emily Woodall.
David played and it pleased the Lord, but you don't really care for music, do ya? It goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major lift, the baffle kick opposing hallelujah.
Thank you. 
Great job, girls. What a fantastic family. We are hating to lose the Otis Gaylor. We will miss you a lot. Moving on to our specialty awards of the year, we will start with the most approved awards. Obviously, this is a pretty self-exclamatory little award, so we'll roll right into it. The most approved in chorus is Randall Barton. The most approved in jazz band is Devin Doss. And the most approved symphonic band member is Dexter Anderson. The Most Spirited Award is a member who shows extreme spirit, who is always happy to see you, who is always willing to be in your business and make sure all is well with you, who is always hyper and ready to begin each day, task or project with high energy. Students, does this sound like anybody you know? The Most Spirited Award for this year is Cody Tinch.
uh, being the best soprano not only means you are a singer of the soprano section, but it also means that you have great singing range. The COVID-19 pandemic hurt the choir this year, then we lost several chorus students to virtual learning. So this award, the best soprano, goes to a singer who has the greatest range and sings very well. So the best soprano this year goes to Amara Knox. The best alto singer is a unique section because of the harmony that it brings to the three-part choir. They must be able to sing and read music with confidence. We have several great singers in the alto section, but one stands above the rest. The best alto singer this year is Alex Anderson. We have so many great male singers. Yay! I remember a time when I was hoping to get guys to sing. In fact, there were a few years I either had one or just two male singers. Anyway, choosing who is the greatest out of this group means that they have great confidence and has good pitch nearly all the time. The best male singer for this school year is Jaden Storm. The most valuable player award is someone who is in the band that is reliable and who can master their instrument, and in some cases, several instruments. This particular person has been reliable for several reasons. This person has mastered one instrument in marching band and was a difference maker. This person mastered another instrument in symphonic band and was a difference maker. And this person was even in jazz band and helped their section make a difference. This person has gone further and was a difference maker performing one of the hardest jobs to do during the whole school year. So to me, this person not only was a difference maker in all three bands, but with his willingness to help has made themselves the most valuable person, or as this award dictates, as the most valuable player. Raymond Kyle Nichols.
Most Outstanding Player Award goes to, obviously, the best overall players of the symphonic band and the jazz band. So first, let's go to the jazz band. This person can play, they can read music, they can improvise like nobody's business, and puts all of us musicians to shame. The most outstanding player of the jazz band is Logan Roach. <laughs> the symphonic band, most outstanding player, has had literally years of self-discipline practicing, always taking the time to master their instrument, and showing the kind of confidence that cannot hide in any chair test or performances like the very important LGBE, or seasonal performances like tonight. In addition, they even have the kind of discipline, excitement, and eagerness to take on other instruments and master them the same way. Rising above the rest, the most outstanding symphonic band player is Matthew Ember. <laughs> the most dedicated senior is a special award with a special name tied to it. Several years ago, ROTC had an admirable First Sergeant John Wilson that I looked up to, and quite honestly, was one of the unique staff people who supported our music program during my time here at Banks County. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> my foot got carried away. I spent time talking with uh, First Sergeant John Wilson and heard several of his military stories through the years. I really admired his dedication. So one year I added his name to be tied with this very special senior award. In regards to the special senior time for this award, this award goes to the senior because of the many years that they have spent in this band program. But in particular, this person not only was dedicated to our program, they were dedicated with all of their other classes, their personal dedication to gathering all the knowledge to be prepared for this crazy world. And what I really like about them is their dedication to never being absent. In fact, for example, when it came time for senior skip days, they still came to school like every student should do. The most dedicated senior award goes to Ms. Autumn Greenwood.
Thank <laughs> you. 